as a man, I feel like stability in your life is having that strong woman by your side also. That's a piece of the puzzle. It's a yeah. piece of it's a piece of who you are. And I think that, you know, behind they always say behind every strong man is an even stronger woman. That they that's a that's a real saying. Like man, for real. I, I think like I I'm really just I'm really just in a spot of, of just trying to piece things together because when everything else is falling into place but it's a it's that one piece that's just sticking out that i can't push push back into place and, and it's sometimes the, it's, the it's not even spot. strength man it's yeah it's the woman everything at like you know work like all this stuff like car all this stuff like everything's just seems to just be moving but this one piece is like is not going in and then before man. but it's always like when i was in a relationship before everything else would be popped out but the woman was there but everything else was out which would make me feel messed up and then it's like i took it out all the way you know what i mean but it's like yeah you know what i mean so it's like it's a constant balancing act of trying to get all these pieces in place but you can never keep them all all in at one time and i don't think you you're don't ever have gonna to have everything 100 percent. i mean nah uh, not really, you know there's always I mean, gonna be some stuff you're gonna be dealing with and but it's about getting I it think, as close to stable as possible i think it's necessary for us to always have something to to want to to better uh, ourselves in yeah something that we want to improve yeah. on oh because, absolutely I mean, as humans you feel me like say if you accomplish everything you wanted to have done in your lifetime tomorrow right mm. what would you do i know what week? would you do if you, you had everything like, you ever wanted you're the perfect already. version of yourself right now yeah you're right the best now person yeah right now everything <laughs> everything that you ever wanted to be become yep. you're you're the perfect person in all encounters mm -hmm. that you ever have perfect job next two weeks what are you gonna do all the money like, what, perfect woman perfect house perfect car your favorite car you had everything everything that you ever wanted right there and you're just like well what is life yes. now because you Facts. just done everything there's nothing else to chase anymore yeah and, and I, now you're, you're just looking at yourself like you probably i mean honestly but you'd be depressed until you found a new something to chase because we're always like you know what i mean yeah, yeah dude like I, that's passion. why i wonder like so a lot that's why a lot of man you see all these celebrities and stuff like you see like i wonder like a lot of people always wonder like why do these like famous people why do these celebrities like like why did the, the suicide like why do they kill themselves so like people are like oh hey, they're they must be happy they have all this money and all this no nah, but you see man uh, celebrities bro let me tell you man they go through some heavy shit bro. Not like i know i mean i kind of i feel like i kind of do though i mean it's it's really weird because everything I feel like we all kind of know it too though you know like everything they're doing is being watched on a continuous basis you know? they have to be a version of themselves every time they go out everything they do is constantly being criticized they're constantly being questioned on whether or not what they're doing is the right like the motives of what they're doing if it's right or wrong or you know basically everything they do is being questioned i guess it's 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 mm. a crazy life to live when you think about it like nobody mm no one human is meant to live the life of a celebrity like it's it's crazy i mean imagine not even being able to like go to the grocery store without somebody having something to say about your life or your your past decision like making a mistake and somebody continuously like bringing it up in front of you in your face i mean it's it's impossible to grow like that it's yeah dude it's it's wild it's a wild life some people just aren't cut out for it like you just they shut down you can't mm. it's, and it's like you have all that money like yeah that's cool but it's I mean, cool, but you're mentally broke yeah bro mentally and spiritually broke shit. and Facts, <laughs> that destroys you more than man being mentally and spiritually broke is 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 more is bro that's crazy yes. imagine that like having everything you ever wanted and still being the saddest person on there Facts, imagine man. having you everything have physical Yep. All the cars, all yep. the women, all and you're still you're upset, still, and you're going through so much shit on a daily basis to where you can't even enjoy the shit that you have. You just mm. you're like fuck, like this again. Damn, like this situation. Damn, the press had something to say about this, that, and the third. And I feel like they kind of they kind of get through it on their own. Like once they they get accustomed to that life after they start dealing with it. But still, I mean, it's a lot to put on one person. But like it's it's crazy. It's a lot, man. <sighs> Tristan, we haven't heard from you much. What uh, do you have all your pieces? You, how do you feel like you're you're holding together with your, your your pieces of your puzzle as a man? You just I mean, hold the things. Oh, by the way, Denise says hi. There's hi. one of your pieces right there. Hey, what's up? <laughs> There's one piece of the puzzle right there. <laughs> so we got we got that locked down. One, one, one thing worked. Uh, <laughs> you got one piece down. 
Yeah, like everything else is fucked up. This one piece is, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> hey, dude, you'd be surprised though, dude. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised what what a little bit of love can do for somebody though. That that can make oh, everything man. else you're dealing with in your life more like suppressed. Because you could be dealing with all these things in life, all these things. Nothing's working out. You're getting fired from your job. You're losing your stuff. You're losing everything. But if you have some sort of love in your life, some strong woman, that strong partner's by your side, it man, it can make everything else just so much easier. Dude, man, dude. Man, sometimes it's just having somebody understand you on that deep level, man. Like, Dude, you have no understand. idea what that does for people. Like, some people man. just have no idea, bro. They think this stuff, you would think, they think all this stuff is, like, overrated. Like, oh, love is overrated. F love and this stuff. No, you, you're saying that's because, number one, you probably had it and you lost it. Or, number two, you have no idea what it is. Because if you actually knew what it felt like to have someone... Do you people know what that's like to have someone like actually love you to genuinely love you to have somebody who you can message every single morning to get that text every single morning to the person who's always checking up on you to, to have someone by your side to take on life with this 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 word this journey that we only go through one time called life you have one life to live and imagine just having like that's such a crazy thought to even think about you have one life to live and you chose this person to live it with you think about that and it's uh, like isn't that that's that's the most insane thing ever even some people don't even think about it. you have one life to live in this one life you don't know how long it's gonna last you don't know when you're gonna die i could die tomorrow for all i know you don't know that i can get shot tomorrow hit by a car tomorrow i don't know that but i'm just living every day like it was like it was my life like what would i do if this was my last day you know we talked about this on, on the last on the last day. you remember like what would you do if it was your last day on earth like you have to live every day like thinking like hey this is it man like what would i you know who would who would i want to be around me in my final day in my in this life like you only get one there's no there's no redos what happened happened already there's no there's no second chances there's no that's it so that's what that's why it's so important that's why people take like this marriage thing this this having a woman leave kids like all that's important it's like People, people just take that as a joke like it's not this is Thanks. serious bro you're choosing and someone the time, man, you, you gotta know? redefine love too man because, dude you know, people, people, and love people overuse the word love is just one thing yeah like you know they got this idea that love, love, love is love. just you know like this every like every they they think that love is like this one monolithic just they have this one description of it when in reality like people everybody is different and everybody has their own emotions everybody experiences things in different ways in different yeah in different ways so like why wouldn't love be different for each person why wouldn't love be different for each situation that you, that it's being applied in so i mean it's all about looking at a looking at a situation and making sure that you have your own definition of what love is instead of listening to what everybody else's definition of it is. exactly like it's man we just don't get it man what it feels like to be chosen by somebody not even like it's not even like a hierarchy thing like oh i'm choosing you so you have to no it's like what that feels to like that. to be to to actually have someone like think about you and choose you out of the billions of people on this planet on this on this earth out of the so many people that they could have Cho- they choose you to be with. They choose you to do these things for. They choose you to text, to call every morning. They choose you, you. Like it's it's you know, isn't that crazy to think about? Like it's just like to, that someone could actually like like pick you out of any out of any, like that's that's a great feeling to have. It's a great on both sides for men and a woman. For, for a woman, obviously, of course, like like wow, this man chooses me like this man like wants to be like with and then for men like i was like wow this woman like wants to be with me and like wants to, this woman is like you know what i mean that's that's a very special mutual connection to have that that i think is really overlooked it, people really think about that we're so just uh, people are so casual these days and and what they're and, and maybe that's because okay a lot of the times like i figure okay for me casual dating is like figuring out what you want in a woman figuring out okay who you and who you are in a relationship figuring out who figuring out all of that before you actually decide to get serious and try to start to build something with someone you know what i mean that's what ca- that's the casual dating scene whatever 
you know i'm done with that yeah. like i'm oh, over no, i'm done with that i'm past the the casual day. like I've, I've done i've been there done that with all the like i've had what five or six girlfriends at this point like you know 23 years old like now it's time to it's time to take a look it's time to start and 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 start to you know what i mean before things start happening like we said you'd rather have it before before you get to that point because once you it's gonna be a lot harder it's gonna be a lot harder to find genuineness when it's gonna be hard because you're popular yeah. wherever and people want to oh oh what do you do and all this and that whatever like what, nah bro nah ain't none of that I miss <laughs> me with that like yeah. we either gonna build something now you gonna like me for me who I am now and then mm-hmm. like it's almost like it's like look at basketball wives look at LeBron James's wife they were together before before he was who he was he wasn't no LeBron James. he wasn't King James when she got with him now look at her now look at her she's now being taken care of she's all that she was there before that she was there before the before the money before the fame obviously he might have been popping obviously he was freaking raw in high school he was obviously going to the nba but she but you don't know still though you you still don't you know what i mean this is before all that a lot of there's there's a there's a lot of celebrity couples like that like but she they were there and those are the real ones bro those are the real ones because they were there before the money before the fame they were there before all of that now i'm not saying this doesn't give you excuse to be a bum right now this doesn't that's that's not it's not saying all that that doesn't give you an excuse to do yeah, that. you know what i mean i'm not saying all that like i'm gonna be some bum to someone no like i still give you know what i mean i act like uh, listen i like to spoil whoever but i like to i like to give things i like to do all that but i'm saying Girl, like you- if i'm willing to do that right now imagine what i'm gonna be doing uh- when i get man and instead of instead of buying what am i doing what instead of buying bracelets and jewelries and, and teddy bears and whatever I'm buying mm-hmm. freaking cars, and I'll, I'm buying. I'm buying you a car. I'm buying you a house. Grow up was I'm real. I'm buying you a, but you know what I mean. This is just a start. Oh, this is just a start, my baby. This is just, you know what I mean. This is just, this is something light. This is something light. I'm just showing you. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing little with the rose petals on the ground. I'm not giving you the yeah. whole bouquet yet. I'm just showing you. I'm just, I'm just showing you what it is. I'm showing you what, you know what I'm saying. What's to come? It's a little. It's a sneak yeah. peek. That's all. That's all it is. Which I'm thinking, um, it's a little. Oh yeah, yeah. those puzzle pieces, bro. Right? Like I don't think we ever got a chance to to hear what Tristan had to say about that. Yeah, what what? How are your puzzle pieces doing? Your puzzle pieces being parts of life that, as a man, that like, that need to be in place. But by the time you're, I don't know, thirty years old or however, I don't know. How's how's that working? Out? I don't know. I'm trying to tackle um graduating this semester. or sorry, this month. At the mm-hmm. end of the month, I'm done with finals. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, that's one. That's one goal I'm, I have my mind set out to, and then afterwards, um, <laughs> just continue with my fitness. I want to play a little bit more, um, get better in my fitness, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. just look for jobs, try to get some money. Cause I have, I to my, actually for the first time invested today in um in in the uh, crypto Robinhood, I, like crypto, right. yeah. and, and I got a couple Apple stocks because they were down today. So I'm like, you know what? I want to I'm gonna invest a little bit when it's down, so that hopefully it goes up one day. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, just try to get your like when you have your when you're when you're blessed, you do like the right things. Mm-hmm. You set your mind up to, to do things. Mm-hmm. I mean, the universe will reward you for sure, bro. I mean, if you just do everything right, I mean, don't don't try to get any shortcuts. I mean, it's a, it's Dude. gonna be challenging for sure. I mean, I mean, life's challenging, but like you guys are talking about, like if it's easy, it's not fun, right? Dude, so probably, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> bro it's it's not bro it's not even fun like that's that's also comes with the chase we're not even talking about women now now we're just talking about the chase in life like it's got to be exactly it's, it's got to be challenging exactly. bro like i love a, I love a challenge like don't give me nothing like i don't want it easy because i always found out the easiest things that i wanted in life were never the right choice i had to make a choice to go the harder route and that that i because i knew it would be worth it in the end i knew it'd be worth it in the end if i went the harder route yeah and even if you make a mistake or fail, it's still a learning lesson. I mean, learn the hard way, but I mean, you still learn. I mean, you can still learn from your um, from your experience. That's what wisdom is, right? There's, mm. Yeah, yeah. They say, um, what experiences? I mean, I, I'm gonna paraphrase the quote, but I think it's uh, what is it like? Uh, living is making your mistakes and learning from them, but wisdom is learning from others' mistakes. Hmm. 
I mean, the the original quote is something different, but it's kind of alluding to the same thing for sure. Mm. And always be open to looking at other people's mistakes and learning from them so that you can actually apply that to your own life so you don't have to go through the same shit. You don't even have to go down that road. You can be like, oh, he went down that road and there's spikes down that pit. All right, cool. Let me go down this one. I like that, um, Daniel. I feel like you can learn a lot from uh, from older people. Like Even if it's not like their mistakes, they, some people will share some wisdom with you. Like um, it helps them out. Yeah. Um, like 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 some people will teach you like how to breathe, meditate better, or um mm-hmm. they'll teach you about like um I don't know if you're sure if you guys try this, but like semen semen retention, like that they, mm-hmm. or like cold showers, like oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Stay, staying away from uh social media, all this stuff. Like there's so much like um dopamine that you can be releasing on all this stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of people who are older or wiser they'll tell you like try to avoid it. And just stay on your grind so that you don't have to waste. I mean, there's so much stuff you people wasted on and you don't want to go down that route. Social media is definitely something that I've right, learned. Stop. To- stop doing yeah. it. 